Do we do one last cold opening or do we just leave it as it is? Oh, that's the cold open right there. You know what? <laughs> Sounds good to me. This is awful. I hate this. Cold open. <laughs> that was the cold open. Welcome to another episode of Boom or Bust, the draft show. Max Chadwick alongside Nick Miriam, Donnie Clemens, Tate Sigworth. And it might be weird for you guys to see our faces. It's been quite literally eight months since the last Boom or Bust episode. It might be weird for you guys seeing Tate Sigworth's face right now. Max has a beard. I have a beard now. I have an Andrew Luck beard, as as they all very lovingly put it. I've been trying some new things out. I'm Really, the answer is I'm getting fatter, and I'm just trying to cover that up right now. So that's why I'm growing the beard. But... Uh, it might be weird for you guys to see all of us. This is a very special episode. This is unfortunately the goodbye episode for Boomer Bust. Uh, we all hate each other now, uh, so we just didn't want. Oh, to you guys are the worst. Anymore. Creative differences. <laughs> yeah, creative differences. I actually yeah. I blocked all of them, and then I had to unblock them just to do the video. I'm just gonna block them again <laughs> after. Yeah, it was like a 30, 20, 20, 20, 10 split. It wasn't good. Oh, we're not talking to PJ at all anymore. Lawsuits. We hate, we hate who's, PJ. Who's that guy? I, oh, I we kicked him out of the group chat and everything. Okay, no, this, we're all of course still the best of friends. We all text each other daily in the group chat. PJ literally quite does not know if he can keep his job if he does this. So he's like, you know what? Uh, why don't you guys do it without me? We'll let it, we'll let you guys know what he's up to. But yeah, it's kind of the goodbye episode. We're all onto different things in our lives now, and kind of wanted to give you guys an update on where we are in our lives, but. Uh, first off, I mean, I, I guess I'll start here. I just want to thank all of you for for watching us, for listening to us. We never thought it would, you know, grow a following when we started this a few years ago. It actually was under a different name at a different company. Top years. secret, Max. Top <laughs> secret. <laughs> Tate, one of Tate's coworkers, uh, actually was uh, was in charge of it, and um, oh. yeah, then we uh, then we changed it to this, and it's uh, it blew up like we never thought it could. And, and we've had the time of our lives doing the combine doing prospect breakdowns, talking to prospects, uh, and just, you know, giving each other a hard time every single video, which I thought was the best part of all, about it all. So uh, I appreciate all you guys. We'll go into some memories that we love too, but if you guys just each want to want to say something, Tate, we'll start with you. Oof. Uh, yeah, hello. Uh, it's been a second. Um, I departed this show before the Beijing Olympics as a NBC Sports employee. Uh, I'm working at NBC on Olympics features and profiles. Um, that's what I'm currently up to. Um, but yeah, really love work, uh, but also miss doing this because just talking to these guys and also interacting with you, the fans, was always a highlight. Um, I'm sure I'll think about some of you guys in a second here, but um, yeah, yeah, uh, that's what I'm currently up to. You can go ahead, Nick. Yeah, I mean, I've been doing a lot of stuff. I graduated like the May after Donnie and I did our two of us uh, draft show, second one we did technically. But um, since then, I've been kind of bouncing around, did some uh, analytics work, the stuff that Max doesn't have the guts to do, data collection. He's on the media side. So, yeah. Coward. He's a coward. Never sat, never sat 12 hours in a chair at, you know, two in the morning with a commute ahead of him to drive home. And, you know, it is what it is. You know, some of us are just better than others. I don't know. But, uh, True. you know, um, since then, I've been, you know, working on a, a couple other podcasts, uh, Defiant Takes Football. You can check them out on Twitter at Defiant Takes. Great stuff over there on their YouTube page, on their uh, website online. A lot of articles coming out and uh, a lot of draft coverage. We have some film breakdowns up there as well. Uh, but just recently, um, after all this stuff I've been doing then, I was down the combine, by the way, too. I want to mention for the first time I got down there and met some of the people that these guys interviewed uh, initially with the podcast before I was on board. Uh, like uh, Trevor Sikama, Mike Renner, Max's colleagues, who he's going to talk about soon. Um, exactly right. It's cool. Um, and, uh, you know, I got a job here at Stony Brook University, Division One football team. So I'm going to be here working kind of on their media side and some content stuff with the recruitment department as NIL expands. It's a very big part of recruiting. You have to have like graphics and stuff to get players to want to play for you. I don't know, like stuff like that. And then we also, I'm, a, I'm technically a video assistant for the coaching staff. So I'm you know, cutting up game and practice film and <clears throat> getting it to the coaches. So that'd be cool. Um, this is my new dorm. I just moved in effectively. Uh, still basically college living. I have three roommates, but uh, it's for the love of the game, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So uh, shockingly, I'm actually a lot younger than all of them. They all graduated college. I mean, Max and Tate graduated college, what, two years ago? Oh, Nick graduated. It's, it's all good, man. You're, it's, <laughs> you're still young, man. Uh, 
Matt, uh, Nick graduated college less than a year ago, and I'm still stuck at Iowa Western Community College. Um, I'll actually be finishing up in about a month and a week or so and getting my associates uh, for sports media technology. I've had a lot of fun here. I've met awesome people. And uh, after this, I'll actually be going to the University of Northern Iowa. Uh, go Panthers. But um, I'll be going there possibly still kind of figuring out what my major is going to be. Right now, I'm kind of leading towards uh, – Sports PR communication, that's what I'm currently leaning on. Um, I've been trying to get into contact also with um, some of the sports departments down there, seeing if I can just have any type of work or internship. I'm just throwing out my name everywhere. Um, I'm, but I'm also having fun with it. Um, pretty much that's what's going on. I mean, my life hasn't really changed that much. Like, all these guys have jobs and stuff, and <laughs> I'm over here, like, I'm still finishing school, man. Like, whenever I first joined the podcast, I was a freshman in college. I had no idea what I was doing. I mean, college was a completely new experience for me. It's completely different from high school. And um, now I'm about to be done with my time at Iowa Western. I basically have the same dorm, except basically flipped uh, that over there, just put it over there, and that's basically my dorm. But uh, <laughs> that's... <laughs> That's that's basically what's up with me. Nothing really too much. I'm still doing my TikTok stuff, and uh, I'm still posting a ton of draft content. Uh, you can always find me on just the regular stuff, you know, at Pick and Spreads. Find me on TikTok. Find me on Instagram, all that stuff. And uh, hopefully one day in the future I'll get an opportunity, possibly with the UNI football team. Hopefully that um, they can respond to me. I've been messaging them for weeks now. But hopefully just I just want some kind of opportunity, and uh, hopefully hopefully I can get it one day. But um, I'm sure one day uh, – Something will happen, but right now, not really much has changed, and I'm just happy to be in the position I am with uh, everything that happened last year with just not knowing what college was going to be like. It was stressful and all that, and going, you know, just evolving as a person, growing as a human being. It's been awesome uh, for the journey of college, and I'm really looking forward to my time at you and I. Yeah, man, that's awesome. I can't wait for that. You'll be the next uh, offensive tackle that posted perfect 10 RAS score at UNI. I feel like they have yes, everyone. One, one call me, Spen call me Spencer year. Brown, baby. Spencer, call me Brown, Spencer Brown, Trevor Penning, the other one, too, was oh, unbelievable. Wow. They, um, they have all the athletic top They literally tackles, quite they? do. Uh, yeah, man. So I, I guess I'll go into what PJ's doing because I'm sure a lot of you are wondering. PJ's still working with the Detroit Lions. He's, that's what he left us to do. He's still with them, he's a digital Titan media. Caps. Digital media, yeah, exactly. Digital media department with them. He's actually doing a lot of on-air content for them, which is pretty sweet. Not gonna lie, he's uh, doing a lot of the the 20 minute in the huddle uh, with their reporter Tim Twentyman, who you interview a lot of Lions people, a lot of different other people, and, and PJ is constantly on that podcast in addition to being a producer of that podcast. So he is absolutely killing it in Detroit right now. Um, I'm working at PFF, uh, as Nick said before, I'm a college football analyst at PFF. I still work on their social team too. Uh, technically that's my day job is the social team. I don't get paid for any of the content stuff. They just let me do that, honestly. But, uh, yeah, I I've been doing a lot of content for PFF college football wise, uh, not really NFL draft, but college football. And that kind of, I guess will will transition to what this channel will become and we're cha I'm going to be changing this channel. Uh, I got the permission from these guys, but I was, I was so grateful for it because honestly, if they told me, you know, no, I'd have been like, yeah, I completely understand. Uh, but they they let me are going to let me uh, transition this channel into preferred walk on, which is a college football podcast. And not only am I grateful to these guys, I'm also grateful to PFF because I'm going to be able to post all the interviews I've been doing on that podcast with uh, Caleb Williams or Travis, a bunch of other guys, too. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm really excited about that. Um, so, yeah, that, that's kind of what I've been up to lately. But I kind of just want to take this time now before Tate, Tate's got to run. We all got to run. What are your favorite memories of Boomer Buzz? I, I think mine, honestly, has got to be the live draft show was probably mine. The combine was ridiculous. I mean, the, the memes are still posted to this day of the 19-yard throw, which I'll never live down. <laughs> um, I, I would say those two. I'm trying Can to think. 30 at max? No, I haven't. Uh, Chaz Surratt, we got into a. Screaming match over Chaz uh, Surratt. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. I'm trying to think of who else. Uh, the Tate, I think Tate's Houston Allen was one of my favorite all time moments too. And we did the NFL redraft, and Tate just took every single player named Allen to Houston, <laughs> which was perfect. Uh, Even if it was a bad pick. Yeah, those. I think those are some of mine. That I, the live draft show, I think, will never be topped. That was that was maybe the most fun I've ever had uh, doing that. So, uh, Nick, what was your what was some of your favorite moments? You think? 
Yeah, the live draft show was just maybe the most fun I've had, like producing, creating anything. I didn't even know what was going on on the technical side for the most part throughout that whole process. Near and I. So much fun. <laughs> yeah, apparently PJ just runs the show. I guess Tate also does a little bit too. A huge uh, shout out to James um, Zomberg and Owen Valentine mm, for the live draft show. Yeah, yeah. Corey yeah. Spectre too. Corey Spector. And Caitlin yeah. Alsop, right? Because she made the graphics. Oh my God, Caitlin also was Kane also. We, Oh my God, uh, she was yeah. unbelievable during that yeah. time. Great people, all doing great things. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah. New house runs deep. Um, <laughs> not to brag, but, you know. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, the, the live draft show was great. This is going to be very cliche, uh, but honestly, my favorite moment was kind of like the first show that I did with re, like recap, I think it was Panay Sewell. And like mm-hmm. knowing that I was going to be a part of it because I really wanted yeah. to be a part of it. Like I was like baking YouTube videos on my own while you guys were doing your thing. I was kind of like, wow, their stuff is so much better than mine. And like, I want it. I was, that looks so cool. I wish I could replicate that. And, um, you know, being getting invited on and just like being a part of the group was just, you know, it's an awesome experience and ultimately like directed me where I am right now because I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do before this. So um, that was a big deal. Remember Nick's rap during Michael Parsons? That video, I think oh I actually God, that was Nick's first video. Throwback. I think it was like Parsons. Remember when Nick did like the the rhyming with his strengths and all that? That was unbelievable. I was like, oh yeah, Nick's a full time host because yeah, I think that, that time we're like, oh, invite him on, see how he does. And I was like, all right, that yeah, be staying on the show. He was, that just was spitting over here. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was unbelievable. I was like, yeah, he, he gets the show. He gets the show. Which, Day by one. the way, those are the two most viewed videos still on our channel: Michael Parsons and Penny Sewell. People still go back to those. We yeah. hit. Hit on both of them, you know, it's not hard to hit on Michael Parsons when you watch it. We were like, "Yeah, hey, we got him." <laughs> Those were layups. Um, we called him an edge player. I mean, you know, it worked out. We did. We did. <laughs> we edge. Now look at him. Yeah, it's, that's an edge player right there. Um, some some memories of mine. Um, honestly, interacting with the fans, uh, yeah. Twitter, YouTube comments. Um, you know, Viking Skull, I love you. Wherever you are, I love you. Um. <laughs> uh yuki and duncan two of our probably most loyal followers just king i still talk to them dude every through almost, and through every week yeah um guys were over in europe but like staying up for our draft show at like 3 a.m going to work the next day i mean it's just unbelievable. Uh, unbelievably great people um viking school again i just wanted again just <laughs> i love you wherever you are i love you um <laughs> Uh, interviewing field Yates. I mean, all of mm. our guests were unbelievable. I know uh, Nick mentioned a few, um, and all of those guys are off to just amazing, incredible things in their field. Connor Rogers is over at NBC, hello coworker. Yep. Yep. Um, Trevor's doing amazing. Ben Solak's doing amazing. But I mean, field Yates for me is kind of a crowning moment. I think for the podcast where it was yeah. like, oh, like That's field it's Yates. a real person, kind of. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> um, that guy's on ESPN. Um, and all these other guys we interviewed will be on ESPN at some point. Um, and then um, I don't know if we really want to talk about this. I think we talked about it a little before, but uh, Nick's day two recap. Uh, there's a hidden story there. If Nick's cool with it, I'm cool. Yeah, I, we could talk okay, about it. Okay, cool. Um, so we did our day two recap of the 2022 NFL draft after day two. 2021. Ended, 2021. Or 2021, sorry. Yeah. Um, so just it's not the live stream; it's the video after. that came out. After. Yeah, the recap. Yes, like the we're going to recap the day. Talk about like who's still on the board. What are we thinking? Um, who had a good day? Yada yada. And we record our video 20, 30 minutes maybe. Yep. Uh, Nick leaves. I'm like packing up to leave. PJ sits down, opens the file. No audio. Mm-hmm. Oh no. <laughs> so we we called Nick. We're like, you got to come back. We have to re-record this whole video. Uh huh. And he says, I'm seven shots in. <laughs> yes. I was like, dude, it's been 15 minutes since we left. <laughs> it's been like 10 minutes. <laughs> um, and so he came back and uh, he did the recap. It's still on the channel. If you guys want to go look like at it. He played like a champion. I'll give him that. He the battled through adversity. Like that day. Yeah. <laughs> that was unbelievable when he was seven shots. Deep. He literally, I could not tell. I was like, dude, if I was huh? seven shots deep, I'd be on the toilet, like throwing up right now. So I was very... Very impressed with that, but Nick, I don't know, yeah. anything you want to add on that? No, I just, I guess I, that was when I really realized like how much I really was confident in my own skills in terms of talking about football. Like I just like nothing phased me, I guess. I don't know. I love how Syracuse.com like, was posting all those videos on their page too. Like legit sources were posting us. On yeah, their it's page up there. And it was like, <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Oopsies. 
Yeah, oh, I mean, I, I think it's a lesson, though. Really, like I think you know, um, you know, not like to make bring everything else back to yeah, sports. Yeah, way to like, spin this. Way to spin this. Let's go. You know, but like, <laughs> if you if you are like gonna go accomplish something in life and you're not fully confident in it and you like kind of go halfway, you're gonna you're gonna you're more likely to fail. And I just I don't know, like we all believe in ourselves, right? And like in that moment, like we were just we were on such a roll with the content. Like I, you know, there's no reason to think that we weren't gonna be able to do it despite whatever I have put in my body before. We're good. We're good. You know, it was just like, here, yeah, what's going on? Sam Cosme at 51 to the, to, the, to the football team then. Sure. Like, that was a good pick. Jock fell to the Browns. Tate was yes, awesome. sir. That, yes, that sir. Cardinals took your favorite player ever, you know? Yeah, Rondale Moore. That's the Cardinals. We need to talk about that. Yeah. That made it easy once that happened. Yeah. <laughs> um well some of my favorite moments honestly weren't even me on the pod it was me watching it as a fan because some of the moments that happened uh as a fan watching it was unreal i think my favorite moment ever we brought up or max brought up earlier that shaz surat argument i think i had tears in my eyes i was laughing so hard uh because you and pj were just screaming at each other at the top of your voice about shaz surat just screaming that he couldn't tackle. It's Blocked like, us on Twitter the next day, by the yeah. way, too. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was like, oh. That's what I knew. I was like, oh, maybe we should like tone it down a little bit because these guys Which actually want I, I think that's the only confirmed blockage in our history. I, I think so, yeah. Thank like, you, Chaz yeah. Surratt. Yo, yeah, just to say, Chaz Surratt. I got blocked by Taint Dell, even though I said he was a second-round pick. I got blocked by Taint Dell. Yeah. You guys uh, know what team Chaz Surratt's on right now? Just saying, you know. <laughs> Is he on the Vikings? He, no, he got kid. no, he got cut. No, he no, got, he's a he's on the Jets practice squad right now. So oh, PJ, <laughs> All right. go PJ. <laughs> yeah, PJ. <laughs> I hope he goes to the Lions at some point so PJ can be like, dude, I always believed in you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I think, I think the other funny moment is um, another screaming moment. Uh, this was a long video ago. This is when I first discovered uh, the Rumor Bus YouTube channel. It's uh, the Trey Lance video when I don't think I've ever seen P- uh, Tate raise his voice as loudly as he did in that entire video, just claiming that Justin Fields is like the greatest QB ever and that Trey Lance Literally. was like the second coming of like <laughs> Sam Darnold or something. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you know, I... We don't know yet. Sam Darnold might be out Trey Lance, too, honestly. It's been two years, and we have no idea how good, how no good Trey Lance is. Yeah, it's, oh it's really sad, but that entire oh. argument of, like, PJ saying he was, like, QB2 and, like, Fields was QB3 and then Tay was out here saying Fields oh, QB1 and, <laughs> and Trey Lance is, like, the worst quarterback ever and then Max is over here, like, yeah, so, you know, I got... I got Lance at three. And, uh, <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna let them go. Two. I I'm got uh, I got I got Lawrence at one, and it was just just seeing Max there, just sit there, just so quietly trying not to laugh was just the funniest <laughs> thing to me. Um, but then the other good moment, I guess, would probably be the live stream. Uh, we we talked about it earlier, but my reaction to the Hollywood Brown trade with Arizona when I slammed my head on a wall, um, <laughs> that was that was very upsetting and. Uh, yeah, shout out Steve Kime for uh, pulling that trade off. Um, that was that was another great moment. And then also just uh, like Nick said earlier when he was brought on, when I was brought on, I was so excited. I was a big fan of this podcast. Um, I watched all the live streams. I had such a great time. And obviously just super thankful to be brought on. I had a blast every single video we made uh, through all the ups, through all the downs, you know, through, for all the hours of sleep that I lost editing the videos and watching prospects. I had a great time, and I just wanted to say thanks for bringing me on because I had a great time throughout all of it. I, I was just going to say, Donnie, I mean, you, when Tate left, PJ left right around that same time, Nick and I looked at each other we're like, dude, we want to keep doing it, but, like, we need someone else. And I was like, Donnie has been interacting with us all the time. I know he's good. I know he knows his stuff. I know he's great on TikTok. Um, and so we brought you on, man. And like, like Nick, honestly, too, I think, Tate, we, we – that's how I know, Tate, that we we are good at talent evaluation in the NFL draft and everything, <laughs> is that we brought on Nick and, and Nick and Donnie, honestly. And we, we we can identify stars pretty early on in the process, uh, whereas PJ thinks Zach Wilson was like close to Trevor Lawrence in that 2021 yeah, draft. what an so. idiot. I was just looking through some of our past <laughs> videos, and I saw the Zach Wilson one. and I'm vi- We're vindicated. Justin Fields, we're vindicated for that. You're take, a bum, dude. PJ. <laughs> I love that he kept me on this if we're, gonna yeah, talk about, we're gonna, if we're gonna <laughs> if we're gonna talk about that, I actually went back because um I think it was Max sent me the old board that you guys had for 2021. 
And I just want to bring this up. Zach, or not Zach, uh, Max, why did you have uh, McPherson at 42 overall on your oh, board? Oh, that was tough. Yeah. I, I have um, to tell you, Creed Humphrey, I was low on too. And that's tough now. He's the yeah, best. Yeah. Okay. That's now. another moment that I had. What are we it's, doing? A good, it's a good thing I that wasn't was... on this pod because if I was, I think I would have screamed at you a Everyone lot. I was like, I don't know if his athleticism is really that great. And then he goes, like, Then he tests as a 100% hey, <laughs> Dude's, this dude's hey. like arguably the best center in the league already. Oh, he is. Yeah, Tyler, is. Tyler Wallace worked out, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> moments. Moments. We're going to talk about moments. Tyler Wallace's oh max interview. I mean, come on. Oh, my God. Oh, we, we, oh, do you have, we have talked about this already on the show, I feel I, like. I think I we know. have. I think we have. Max my was mind. sitting in the parking lot at Chili's. <laughs> and it was during the Senior Bowl week. And he had requested Tyler Wallace. And we didn't get an interview all week. All week. But so anyway. he's like, oh, it's no biggie. So he's just out at Chili's, and he gets a call. He picks up. He's like, hello, this is Tylen Wallace. He's like, huh? <laughs> yeah. I, I told him I can't do it. I was like, I'm, uh, the, the woman called me. She's like, hey, I have Tylen right here. Can you talk to him? I was like, I'm at Chili's right now. And I, <laughs> I hung up the phone. And then she was like. I'm at Chili's. And then I, I, like, I was like, my, uh, my, our good friend Owen Valentine was with me, and my girlfriend Megan was with me, and they're like, you got to go do that. And I was like, you're right. And I sprinted out to the car. I recorded it. I was like, out of breath. I called them back, which you're really not supposed to do. And they were like, all right, here. And I talked to him for like 20 minutes, and he was – it was the worst interview of all time. We never even played – I think we played it as a joke it, on, on the on a pod. I never even saw video. it. I don't, I don't think I it was, was – It's on a podcast. If you Tyron was not it, into it. No, he was not into it. I, I was like, not into it. I was terrible. I was like that, out of breath. Yeah. Like, Talon, I'm a big fan of your game, dude. But <laughs> <laughs> that was awful. That, that was I, the weird – that was a COVID year too. So, like, I don't know if you yeah. say that on YouTube now anymore either. I don't know what's going on with YouTube these days. Um the uh so we had like all the uh remote stuff going on and i couldn't even be a part of it still because i wasn't 21 yet but like you guys were able to do it to the internet and like you can go on my youtube page or my twitter page and see like interviews that most people are doing down at the, at the real senior bowl when you like go and literally just hold your camera up and like film somebody and record them while doing an interview this was just like they had a whole system where they would just call you and be like uh tylen wallace is here for He's an available. interview you're like, oh, you got to be available from like 10 a.m. to like 8 p.m. We'll call you at any time. And it was yeah. like three days of right. that. And I was like, dude, like it, the, it was literally the last day at like 745. I was like, screw it. I'm going to Chili's. We're not getting Only this. Only <laughs> They <laughs> called Chili's. <laughs> <laughs> they the restaurants, me. why Chili's? Dude, Chili's is the best. I don't know. What <laughs> Chili's is the best. The All you can eat chips is oh. <laughs> Donnie, this might go for a further back than you, but I feel like you should know by this point that Max is food critiques are not like why do you think i'm growing a, why do you think i'm growing the beard right now well, i, I was, I I'm, was I'm, told a story when you guys were like out shopping one time for like getting the stuff for like <laughs> setting up <laughs> if you want I, to talk about it go ahead i what it was a buy one, buy one for like five dollars buy two for six and i was like or something like that and i was like all right screw it. i'm gonna get so i had like two hot dogs and two cokes in my hand as we're walking around <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I knew. I should probably grow out the beard a little bit. A sight to see. <laughs> that was tough, but yeah, I guess that's True that's all. I know Tate and we all got to run, but uh, that's what we got. So please stay subscribed. We're transitioning this over to the uh, preferred walk on very soon. Donnie's helped me out that channel. I, I cannot wait for that. But uh, yeah, we love you guys. Uh, seriously, this was the time of our lives doing this. Unfortunately, you know, we just all moving on to different things. Who knows what happens down the road? We'll, we'll see. Um, but this is awesome, and I really appreciate all you guys. We figured we'd give you guys a, a goodbye episode because I've had many people DM me. Me too. Be like, hey, yeah. is tour bus happening? And I'm like, all the no, time. I don't think it is. Um, so I figured we'd do this and let you guys know what we're up to. And and but you know, we're still the best of friends. Please hit us up with anything. We we love talking to you guys. I know Yoki, Duncan. I, I love talking to those guys all the time. So please keep hitting us up and. Uh, yeah, man. Also, also, real quick, I just want to say this just to throw it out there. If you do possibly want to see, you know, my my reaction to this upcoming draft, because I'm still working on the draft heavily, yep. I'll be live on TikTok for day one and day two. I'm not sure about day three, but definitely day one, definitely day two. I'll be live on TikTok. I'll be reading all the comments, doing everything. So if you possibly still want to see one of the Boomer Bus guys react to the draft, just hit me up on TikTok and I'll be live April 27th and April 28th. Love it. Yeah, please watch that for Dive. We're, well, I cannot wait for this upcoming draft. It's going to be a lot of fun. But uh, that's what we got. So for Tate Sigurd, Nick Merriam, and Donnie Clemens, and of course, PJ Clark, I'm Max Shadrick. Have a great night.